These type of programs are highlighted in TCS and Infosys interview patterns. Let us see, this is going to be pretty simple. We have to write a program to find the string as a palindrome. A palindrome is nothing but a word that is read to be the same from front as well as back. If you see P O P, if I am reading it from reverse, P O P, this is the same. Similarly for madam, M A D A M. When I'm reading it from reverse, M A D A M, it spells the same from the front and back. So that is known as a palindrome. So how to write a program to find whether a word is palindrome? If you see over here, we have to include the standard libraries as our initial step, followed by our main. So our main function has the declaration of the required terms, let us say a string to store a word and an initiator i and length and a flag. We will further see as we proceed further what are the use of these arguments. Initially we have to get the word in order to solve it. So we are getting the word using a printf statement and scanning the word and storing it in a string that is of the type character. Further, we are finding the length of the string and storing it in the term length. The length of the string is found using an inbuilt function string length. And next we are having a for loop which checks whether the string is same. This works as follows. If my i value is initiated to 0, then the condition is if string 1 of i, that is the string 1 of 0, is not equal to string 1 length minus i minus 1. If you see, the total length of the word is phi. So, phi minus our initial value of i will be 0, minus 1 is nothing but 4. So, you know, our array starts with 0. So, this will be the fourth position. If it is not equal, we have to break, but it is equal. Hence, we are incrementing our for loops i further. This makes i to be 1. So, a string i of 1 is nothing but a, which is nothing but string 1 of 1. And string length is phi minus 1 of 1 is nothing but phi minus 2 that gives you 3. So, your third position 0, 1, 2 and 3 is nothing but a again and these two are equal. So, our a and a is equal according to the condition. Hence, since it is equal, we are further incrementing our for loop. And our final term is equal as well. So, thus, our flag is not set since it hasn't satisfied the condition. So, a for loop terminates as it is and it comes to the else part that is your control comes to the else part hence we get the answer to be a palindrome that is the text that we entered in string 1 is palindrome so radar is a palindrome using a program we have got the output